Shorting and filtering data in Excel can involve a lot of mouse clicks and typically it's quite a slow and tedious process. But there's a ton of shortcut keys. In fact, you don't need to touch the mouse at all. You'll get it done 10 times faster. I'll go through the whole lot in detail for you right now. I've got a whole load of data on screen that's ripe for filtering. We've got 8,400 rows. So we don't want to be kind of looking and scrolling through all of that. And the first thing I'd say before I show you any more shortcuts, your biggest shortcut is turning this into an Excel table before you start. And the shortcut key for that is Control T. And that will pick up everything. And you can change that range to include sort of blank columns or rows if you have any in your data. Because once it's a table, shortcuts are going to apply to the entire table and you're not going to need to highlight any kind of ranges or anything. So that for a start, that's a big tip. That's a big shortcut. And yes, it might have made it look crazy, but you've got a whole load of other styles you can pick here. I quite like this one. One of the first uh, most useful things that you're going to need to be able to do quickly is navigate around this data because if you're kind of right down here somewhere like you don't want to be kind of going up with the mouse or anything so you know control and the arrows will move you around this data ultra fast so you can do all your navigation on the keyboard it's obviously going to save you a lot of time before you even start filtering. So the first thing you might notice is the filter buttons have already appeared because it's a, an Excel table. But the shortcut to remove those is Control Shift L and that will just toggle them on or off. But how can you use shortcuts to click on them? Because clicking these buttons and then scrolling around, I mean that's not too bad, but what if you pick product name and you've got like literally hundreds of them. What are the shortcuts for doing this? So the first point in Excel tables is when you scroll down, the names of the columns change to the names of the headings of the table and the filter buttons remain in place. So that straight away is a shortcut. But actually, if you hit Shift, Alt and the arrow down anywhere in a table, it automatically brings up that filter menu. So that's the first one. Shift, Alt and arrow down when you're in a table will bring up that menu. But say you're not in a table or you, you're just in a standard column. Well, if you go up to the any of the top rows, just the standard Alt and the arrow down will bring up these menus. And so you can move to any one. Alt and the arrow down will bring it up anywhere in the table itself, shift alt and the arrow down will bring that menu up. Okay, the menu's up. Again, are you going to reach for your mouse? No, not going to reach for your mouse because, well I am right now just to show you and demonstrate, that on each of the items you can see there's an underlined letter and hitting that letter will jump straight to that item. So if I move my mouse away, hitting the letter S will sort that. So again, you could do to sort it, sort by this, shift alt arrow down, S will sort by that column. An alternative sort by the way would be, let's do it on here, alt A, S and A for ascending, alt A, S, D for descending and I'm just using taking advantage there of the fact that when you push alt you'll jump up all the ribbon commands will have a letter next to them a will select the data menu and then over here you can see s a or s d sort ascending sort descending and ss will bring up the sort criteria Back to our headers then. So we're on here, we can see we've got various letters that select various things. And, but perhaps we wanna be in the search box and 
are we going to click in there? Yeah, we could, but we don't need to actually because shift alt arrow down to get that up. The letter E will jump straight to the search box. And I have to thank John from Excel Campus for showing me that. I watched a video of his on shortcut filters and that was an absolutely um, stunning tip I never knew and you're straight in there. So if you're anywhere on the header, Alt down, arrow down E and then you can just start typing. Now uh, obviously that didn't bring anything up but and it will say W, will bring up West um, and you've got that list and then you can just hit enter and you've filtered. Now if I go back into that E and I start typing West and I think no I don't want West rather than hitting the back arrow to get rid of it you can just hit escape to clear that box and then start typing again. So that's a handy tip and you can also hit escape to come out completely from that menu. But what if you decide that you just want to clear that? Well, alt arrow down and you can see the letter C says clear the filter from just that column. So alt arrow down C clears just that column. If I just apply a couple of kind of random filters on here, so I do. So I've got two filters on. I can get rid of all my filters at once using Alt A to access the data menu and C to clear all filters. And of course, another way to do that would be to hit Control Shift L and Control Shift L to put them back on because if there's any filters, you hit Control shift l to remove the filters it just removes them from the entire column and sometimes i do that because it just seems faster than hitting multiple keys now what if we want to filter certain particular types of text or something like that we could hit on here and when we go in, we've got the up and down arrow, so we can go down to here and we can move up and down through this list. But how do we tick and untick things? Well, actually, the space bar just does that. The so space bar will tick and untick. So we could tick the select all and then move down and just say, oh, we want these guys here. And then enter, of course, would filter that. Sometimes we want to reach things in very long lists. So, for example, on here, if we go down into this list, you can say, you know, if I was to scroll down, it's very long. Yeah, there's loads of people. So, rather than use the mouse, if I go back on here, if you hit end, you'll go right to the very end. And the great thing about that is that all the errors and the blanks are at the end. So, you could do home. So, if I wanted just blanks, for example, Press home to go to the top of the list. Space bar, toggle the select all. Back to end and hit on blanks. And there we go, there's all our blanks. So just doing that a bit faster then. So you can see, Alt A, C. So it's Alt down, in here, space, and blanks. And you might think, that's not too bad, a lot to remember, but of course, you don't actually remember this stuff, you just work it out over time. But there's an actually a, an even faster way of getting to these. If we do Alt down arrow and then F for the text filters and E and then hit enter, we're straight away on blanks. So Alt AC to clear that. So it's Bring up that, F, E, enter. So that's a lot faster actually than all that sort of scrolling up and down, even though you're still using the keyboard. And of course, if you wanted the errors, I'll clear that again. So the errors then, you could do Alt on the down arrow and the E to get in there. And then the hash key will select any errors 
and hit enter. Now it might be that other data will come up and you might need to just filter that out with the list, but certainly that's a quicker way than going through the list and selecting them. Another thing that you might want to do in lists is filter based off of what it is that you're looking at. So um, let's just say we're thinking about this product here, Xerox 21. How would we go about filtering all of that? Well, you know, even with the shortcuts I've just taught you, you'd still be looking at sort of alt arrow down and then an E and then, you know, typing in Xerox and you'll see, oh crikey, there's absolutely tons of them and you've practically got to type in the whole name and even then you're still not getting everything. You'd have to do that. It's a bit clunky, isn't it? You know, even with shortcut keys, it's quicker than using the mouse, but there's a much better way. So let's clear that again. So where was I? Now on your keyboard, hopefully you've got something that simulates a right mouse click. And if you haven't, I'm just going to right mouse click anyway, sorry, on, on there. And you'll see the menu that comes up. But this key is typically to the right of your spacebar and in between the spacebar and the control key. So I'm going to hit that key and that's going to bring up this menu. And then you can, of course, use the arrows on that menu. And you'll see one of them is down here, you've got filter. But of course, you could just hit the letter E to bring that up. And then on here, you see you have filter by selected cells value, which the underlying letter is V, so you hit V. So I'm just going to clear those filters to show you how fast that could be. So that button, E, V. So really, really fast way of filtering on whatever happens to be selected in the cell. The other thing you might have noticed when I used that right mouse click shortcut was that there's various other ways of filtering too. So it's not just by value, you have by color, font color, or the icon. So if you'd switched on some icons for conditional formatting or something. So loads of, it's a great tip that, um, right mouse click simulation on the keyboard anyway for all manner of reasons because you can see there's just a massive menu of commands that you could use. I'll hit escape to come out of those menus. Now what if you want to use some kind of filtering of everything above or below a certain number and you want to do that with the keyboard? So again, because we're in a table, we can hit Alt, Shift and the arrow down to bring up the, the filter menu. We don't need to first go to the top of the menu. And you can see you have number filters on the letter F, and then you have, say, less than. And of course, then we have already filled out. We can just type in our number. So sales less than 100, there we go. As a bit of a bonus for you here, and this is a shortcut to doing sort of multiple kind of filters on various columns, because say I just, I don't care where the data is, I just want to look for the word office anywhere in this data and filter on that. Well, there's a quick way of doing that actually, and that's just setting up a new column. So if I just call this uh, combined on the end here, and I can use the text join function. And I'm just going to put okay, space in between each word for the moment. And it doesn't matter whether I ignore empty or not. And just select kind of the entire thing, table, and hit enter. I'm just going to bring that over into view a bit better because now if I hit Alt and the arrow down, and E to access that search box. I could type anything like office and I'm going to get thousands of results and you'll see I'm getting things like home office but also office supplies within corporate customer segments. I'm getting anything with office in the title. 
And this is not a result that you can achieve by using multiple column filters at the same time. So it's just a little tip if you want to sort of search across entire data sets simply and easily. There's a lot of shortcuts to take in in this video, but you don't have to remember them off by heart at all. The great thing is most of these, once you know that Alt and Arrow Down, for example, brings up that list, you can see what's underlined as, you know, so F, for example, you can see is underlined here, and therefore you can hit the letter F. As you get used to these keys, you'll remember them anyway, but you don't need to remember them before you start. Which ones do you need to remember? Well, quick summary of all the ones that you probably do want to commit to memory. First off, Control Shift L, toggles filters on and off. Alt and the arrow down brings up your menu. The letter E, because it's not shown, gets you into the search box. Alt takes you up to the ribbon so that you can then select letters as you go. Everything else, just follow what Excel is showing you. Religiously stick to using the keyboard, even if you think it's slower to start with, because trust me, it's gonna be way, way faster for you once you do everything on the keyboard and either knock off early or learn a bit more Excel and impress all your colleagues and your boss and get yourself that next promotion. Great stuff. If you like this video, I've got a playlist recommended just coming up. So go and check that out.